There's potentially another weapon out there that has a special ability when pack a punch in that weapon is the Lockwood 300. Now to get the special ability when you pack a punch, you need a specific attachment and that is the dual shot trigger. Now I had the Doom bundle here, so I'm using the Super Shotgun Blueprint variant, which does shoot both shells from the gun at once, as you can see right here. But from what I've been told, when you pack a punch it, it'll shoot four shots at once. So let's go ahead and see. I went ahead and brought in a pack a punch two crystal. Let's throw it on here. And it does have four rounds in it. Oh, and it shoots, I think, I think it shot all four. It definitely did shoot all four, but did I double click? So I will click it one time. Okay, so it does shoot all four at once. So today I'll be trying to get all the camos for it. And once we get that done and have enough money, we'll grab pack a punch three on it and then take it on into the tier three area and test out on a mega abomination. And since we got a bounty right here, let's start this up and go see how it does against an elite. The low frame rate animation on this really messes me up. I feel like I'm lagging out of the game. I get PTSD from disconnecting and losing all my stuff. But at least this does have an inspect, unlike the chainsaw that comes in this bundle. Oh, and here's the mimic we got to take out. Okay, it already got half health and it's gone. Easy enough. Now, just to be clear, this attachment isn't exclusive just to the super shotgun that you get in the bundle. I just wanted to throw it on here because it'd be fun. I'm pretty sure you can get the attachment by going and doing an armory unlock. So you just have to do like two daily challenges and you'll be able to get the attachment. So nothing too crazy. But for the camos that we got to get unlocked today on this, we need our 250 kills. We need 20 kills without taking any damage 10 times. So basically the jackrabbit kills. We need 250 point blank kills and I think 200 kills with fire damage, maybe 250 on that as well. But we're going to be wanting to play pretty close with this shotgun anyway so hopefully we'll get a few point blanks here and there but for us to get these camos done i'm gonna go ahead and start an outlast contract let's go ahead and activate it and get to grinding because we're gonna need 15,000 if we want to get this up to pack a punch three so we're gonna need a decent amount of kills here and i wasn't paying attention and i accidentally finished this event that's fine i'll take a little extra cash here a quick 2,000 isn't bad probably get our money faster that way anyways you know what let's go do a tier two bounty one thing that i am noticing with this gun is that when you shoot you better hit your shot because once you shoot those four bullets you cannot reload while sprinting. So you got to stop, let it reload, and then resume sprinting. So I'm really glad we came into this with Speed Cola. But I wish it allowed me to reload while sprinting. Give me that bounty. And let's go take this Mangler out. What's up, Mangler? Do you even know I'm here? You know now. I think he's a little bit shy. We might have stunned him. Because he's literally not doing anything. You know what? I'll take it. That's free money right there. See you later. Thanks for playing. Well, if it's going to be that easy, we might as well keep doing some bounties. We'll get our money up and we'll fight our mega abomination a little earlier than usual. And then as a victory lap, we'll get our camos done. Do we have another shy mangler? This one actually looks like he's walking around and he's shooting too. He's going to put up a little bit more of a fight than the other one did. Actually, not much of one. He just keeps yelling. Oh, there we go. And he's already dead. That was a good try, though. Definitely put his all into it. But now I'm not seeing any bounties close by. All right, twist my arm. I'll do an outlast. We only need 3,000 more anyways. And hopefully we don't accidentally end this one too early. I haven't gotten really any point blanks right here because I've been trying to go for my jackrabbit medals, my jackrabbit kills, like the 20 kills without taking any damage. And it's extremely difficult to do with this weapon, I'm starting to figure out. At least when the zombies actually give somewhat of a challenge and move a little bit. Because no matter what, when you shoot, you're going to have to reload right after, hit your target or not. And if there's any more zombies coming up behind them, you're going to be taking some damage. There's like 250 kills. So our base camo is done. There's like 250 kills with fire damage. So now we just have our point blanks and our kills without taking damage. But those can wait till after. Let's go ahead and finish this contract and go mega abomination hunting. There we go. Our contract is completed. Oh, and an epic aether tool. Let's go. I was just about to say, I wish I had the schematic for this. I mean, I still do, but these tools seem to be harder and harder to find, at least whenever I'm looking for them. And no way they have a tier three outlast. That's got to be hell. Uh-oh, different shirt jump scare. So I was just editing this video, and as I was editing it, I realized that I never grabbed Pack-A-Punch 3 to fight the Mega Abomination. So I tried to get back to where we were with basically everything that we already had. So I have our shotgun back at Epic and basically all the same perks that we had. But I went through the entire Mega Abomination fight in the first recording with a Pack-A-Punch 2 weapon, and I ended up calling this trash. No wonder. The only thing that's trash is my memory. So let's actually try this out against the Mega Bomb. So let's see our first shots on him. Oh, that's, that's some decent damage, just a little bit. Not a crazy amount. Ooh, but he's definitely dishing it back. Let's hit our Frenzy Guard real quick, get our armor back. Oh, he's gonna fuck me up here. Come on down. Ooh, I think we busted one of his faces open. Let's go. 
Zombies, please leave me alone. Nothing but meat riders over here. We already got them close to half health. And we're at no health. Pretty optimal. Good thing I brought extra decoys for this fight. Just to make sure we get these zombies off our ass. Stop shooting your laser at me. I don't like it. Jeez, dude. Relax with the damage. You big bitch. Okay. I'm going back up the scaffolding. Let's see if you can follow me. I think he lost all tracking of me. He has an entire army here trying to fight me. You guys need to stay the hell away. And I'm out of ammo. You know what? Let's take five. A quick little timeout and I'll be back with you shortly. I honestly should have just stayed up here. That way I can constantly get some ammo and decoys from this. I'm not one of them thinking dudes. Oh, and I just remembered that the last time I was doing this, that you don't get all your ammo back from the ammo cache for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but with this gun, you only get eight bullets back in your reserve. So we need to kill some zombies here. And hopefully they were nice enough to drop us some ammo. Okay, they did. Sweet. Appreciate it, guys. I need to go fight your boss. Let me see your bulls. Ready to go. Did he despawn? He would despawn. That coward. Oh, wait. All the retchings are over here. Maybe he walked back up. I'm not seeing him. I lost him. This is great. This is fantastic. At least this tears through zombies in the tier three zone. There's that upside. The mimics are no exception. Everything's getting blasted like Frank Reynolds. All right, well, I guess we need to go look for another mega abomination. That's the other one went AWOL on us. Oh, we got one right here. What's up, buddy? Yell all you want. Nothing's going to save you. You can even shoot your laser. See if I care. I'll duck and weave. But we are going to be in a situation again where I don't have any ammo. So before we get too low on it, let me throw a decoy. Let me take out a few zombies. That way we just have ammo on the ground for us. Ooh, and blow up his mouth. Nice try shooting that laser, dickhead. Ain't gonna help you. Apparently, these zombies aren't gonna help me either. I don't think any of the ones I killed dropped ammo. Holy shit. Completely out of ammo now. Come on, guys. Play along. Drop me some shit. And then get away from your drops after you do it. It's only fair. Fuck. That's right. I think I have one more self revive. I might be able to lead the zombies away and mortar strike them for some ammo. Maybe. The mega abomination might be too slow. I don't wanna hit him with it. I just wanna hit the zombies. I think we did just that. Oh, please don't knock me again. Or let's not run into my own mortar strike. That also would be very helpful. Any ammo drop from that? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Okay, some did, some did. I'm tweaking for nothing, but he's almost dead. We almost have him slayed. Come on, he's got like no health left. We're close to getting the next dome off of him. Come on. Just sit down. Oh, very bad time to get stunned. Come on, we're like one shot away. Maybe one more. Okay, maybe one more after that. Let's go. We got him. Dead. Deleted. Sleep. Holy shit, that was a fight. But this thing can definitely take him out. I'm glad I came back and tried it with pack three. I would have been disappointed. I'm glad I noticed it too. All right, well, now that that's done, back to past me. Okay, is there anywhere we can peacefully grind at? Spend our days on a nice little farm. There's a spore contract here we, we can knock out. But this should be significantly easier for us to get our camos this way. So somebody told me for the spore contract, if I throw the inhibitors down on both of these spores to activate the spawns and then pick them back up, then I should still get the same amount of spawns, but I don't run the risk of some helpful Harry coming over here and ending my contract for me. Unless they also have inhibitors, but I put them all in my backpack, so maybe they won't. Uh, the spawns seem all right right now. Probably close to being on par of what they would be with the inhibitors down. But using this gun's got me thinking, it'd be sweet if later down the line, they add in an aftermarket part like an akimbo to it, like they did with the WSP Swarm. Like being able to have two of these sawed off shotguns with the, the double shot trigger would be insane. It'd be like the, the Rangers from MW2. And I'm sure that would be busted in multiplayer and be unbearable, but it'd be fun to use in zombies, which is a bit of a shame because if they're doing the same thing like they did in Cold Wars, when a, a weapon got nerfed in multiplayer for Cold War, it also got nerfed in zombies as well so i don't know how easy it is to do but in the future 
or if anyone from Sledgehammer, Treyarch, whoever works on the weapon balancing is listening, maybe we could have separate mode weapon balancing because if a gun's fun and absolutely busted in zombies, I don't feel like we need to patch it. Who's it hurting besides the zombies? We should be able to keep our, our broken OP weapons just to slay some hordes of the undead with. But I feel like we got to be getting close on our kills without taking damage. I've seen a few Jackrabbit medals pop up and the Jackrabbits in this game are 30 kills without taking damage, unlike Cold War's 20. But for our camo, we only need 20, so go ahead and pay up, game. All right, this is starting to get ridiculous. Show me my camo now. I demand it. Oh, there it is. Now we can start going for our point blanks. Actually, if we want to do this efficiently, let me throw a decoy down, get them all grouped together, and then just walk up behind them. But the Aether Storm started moving. Where is it at? Oh, we're actually pretty close to it. That's not good. But we're very close to an exfil, so hopefully we can still get this done and get out. There it is. There's our 250 point blank kills just on time. So now all we need to do is get out of here. But let's finish this mission real quick. This quick little contract. We'll throw those back on there. It actually worked like a charm. So shout out to whoever told me that. Hit that. Spore gone. Spore gone. What you got for me? A uncommon aether tool. Sweet. And the storm's getting pretty close to us. We gotta hurry up and call on this exfil before it disappears. And I have 33,000 here. I wish there was a wallet system put into this game already. I think they're planning on putting one in. Right now, there's no use in exfilling with all this money. Like, you get nothing out of it. And I wanted to hit the box, but I guess not. I was gonna say I'm spending some of this money here, so I at least have a weapon to bring to my contraband stash at the end of this. What is that? Oh, it's the Wonder Wolf. Beautiful. This is my first time actually getting it in this game. I'm calling this exfil, but there really is nothing to do with your money. Like when you exfil, it just becomes XP and I'm already level 55. So what does that do for me? Bars and the storms right here. What does the Wonder Wolf do in this? Eh, pretty decent amount. It doesn't look or sound as cool as previous Wonder Wolfs. We got to somehow survive until our exfil helicopter gets here. I think it's just now landing. Come on, get here. Give me a new gas mask and let's go. Let's skedaddle. Oof. We made it out just in time. And I think I heard gold. And we had 1,195 kills that game. And did we get gold on it? Oh, we did. Let's go. And this is what our super shotgun looks like in game with Golden Enigma. Apparently, it's got a different view in multiplayer than it does in zombies. And it won't let me inspect it, which is weird. But this is what it would look like. And this is what the normal super shotgun looks like. Honestly, I wish I, I had the Doom POV throughout all of zombies. That would have made it a lot more fun. I don't know why it doesn't center it in the screen. Maybe because it has something to do with the field upgrade. I don't know. I don't make games. So the dual shot trigger attachment is pretty good in zombies and is as advertised when you pack a punch it. It shoots those four shots at once and it works pretty good. It melts zombies even in the tier three zone and it's able to take down Omega Abomination, but it's not without its issues. It runs out of ammo super fast. And when you go to a munition box, you don't really get a whole lot when you use it. So you got to have some plan to take out some zombies near you. That way you can replenish your ammo faster. So there's definitely some better weapons out there that are way more efficient, but this weapon was definitely fun to use. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.